Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Once again, I am with another video in 2021, the very first video about the 7th edition. I know a lot of people were expecting for this video, so here it is. Watch till the end, guys. So, I know you are with a lot of hope and a lot of new targets this year. So, one of the targets is achieving the PMP qualification with the new syllabus. So, the very first thing, let's look at the differences between the PM Box 6 and the 7th, the main differences, guys. So the PM book 6 mainly was for targeting like good practice for most projects the most of the time so it's not doesn't say that it is applicable for all the projects but it was covering many of the projects and many of the times but the new edition it's all about adaptability it's applicable for all the projects right so we'll be discussing further on the details of the later in the video guys all right so if you remember if you recall the, the PM book 6 so it's all about the process groups knowledge areas and processes whereas the new book is more customer focused areas of activity and also the outcomes as if you remember there were about 1440 inputs tools and techniques and outputs in the PM book guide uh, 6th edition but the new one comes with a total different uh, set that is principles, mindsets and actions. The main difference I find in the PM book 6 and 7 is the target audience. Uh, the 6 was targeting the primarily the project managers but the 7th edition targeting the project lead, sponsors and the product owners. So with that uh, we we'll look into the main differences about the PM book guide the 6th and the 7th actually the new edition the 7th so if you had read or if you are going through a course with the PM book 6 uh, this these lines will be more influential to you right so without solely focusing on the deliverables the PMI is now putting on more focus towards the project outcomes and in the new edition right it's a huge change and uh, a new section in the guide devoted in tailoring we'll discuss further in this video so stay tuned and shifting the standards from pro processes process groups to principles and the very important thing as i see in this new edition is a change in the target audience as i mentioned it earlier uh, this is now not looking at the questions from a, a pm's perspective now it's we need to change the shoes uh, from question to question so we have to think from a uh, sponsor's perspective, product owner's perspective and a project lead's perspective right the next thing if you have a previous reading of previous uh, edition it will be add more value towards the reading of the new edition because a lot of the areas in the sixth edition will help through to bridge that uh, knowledge gap towards the new exam guys all right So now let's look at the tailoring, tailoring process as outlined in the PM book guide, the 7th edition. So this is a new area you're going to see in the new PM book guide. I know the tailoring was briefly mentioned in PM book 6th edition, each chapter, there was a small area uh, starting of the chapter mentioning about uh, tailoring. But the new edition devote its many of the pages about the tailoring. So the very first one is select an initial development approach right so uh, choose a development approach best suited uh, for that particular activity for the particular project is uh, the very first thing you do in uh, the tailoring process and uh, then you build up for the your second uh, approach second tailoring approach that is a uh, tailor for your organization so as you remember so we are targeting to uh, give solution to handle all the projects so you need to tailor according to your organization that's the second thing comes under tailoring so modify based on organizational requirements is the second thing you do under tailoring so this make sure that uh, the project is designed based on the requirement of your organizations and the third thing tailor for your project so we, the, key thing here is that you adjust 
based on the size, criticality and the other factors. So this, the projects are unique as you know. So you need to make sure that you adjust based on um, the size of the project, the criticality of the project and also uh, the various factors affecting towards the project success. And then with that we move to the final uh, tailoring concept that is uh, implement ongoing improvement right the ongoing improvement is very important in the seventh edition guys it will highlight many areas so it's all about uh, continuous impact and adaptation okay so the fourth point talks about the adaptation pretty much so you need to make sure that uh, you adapt accordingly and this cycle goes on okay this is very fluid cycle you carry on to the next stages okay the next one is all about the project performance domains like we had uh, previous in PM box 6 uh, the knowledge area so these are the domains there are eight domains okay the very first one is stakeholders under stakeholders uh, what we uh, discuss is uh, about addressing the activities of functions associated with all the stakeholders and with that we move on to team Our team address the activities and functions associated with the people who are responsible for producing projects deliverables that realize business outcomes the next one is development approach and life cycle this address the activities and functions associated with the development approach and the life cycle process of the project next one is planning equally important uh, for with the uh, framework six if you remember planning address the activities and functions associated with the in, in, initial ongoing and evolving organization and coordination necessary for the delivering project deliverables and outcomes the project work address activities and functions associated with the establishing project processes managing physical resources and fostering a learning environment so keyword learning environment and then the delivery address activities and functions associated with the delivering the scope and quality that the project was undertaken to archive and then with that we move on to measurements very important area once again the address activities and functions associated with the assessing project performance and taking appropriate actions to maintain acceptable performance okay the final one the uncertainty address the activities and functions associated with the risk and uncertainty if you remember we had a chapter called risk so this is a derivative from that particular chapter from pm book 6 so guys uh, to sum up uh, take a screenshot of this particular screen so this will this is basically the summary of uh, this entire video you can download this particular sites on the pms side if you have if you are a member already and the key thing the uh, the new pm book the seventh edition will be like 250 pages to 300 not a massive book like 700 odd pages so that's a positive thing less reading activity but a lot of work to be done so watch my videos and make sure that you subscribe there will be plenty to come with the new syllabus guys stay tuned thank you